Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. I just realised it definitely won't be morning for you when you're watching this, it's probably a Wednesday evening if you're in the UK, but hi, welcome back, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be filming a vlog, which I just love doing. I've got a really nice day planned, quite a bit of time working at home, but then my friend Emma is coming over to record a podcast with me for her podcast, which is called The Emma Guns Show. Definitely go check it out, I will link it down below. Not sure if my episode will be live yet, probably not, but I will tweet it and Instagram it and stuff when it is, so go check it out, her podcast is great. So that's gonna be really nice having her over, although I haven't really bought anything. I've got tea, I should have bought cake. When we went to Terry de Gunsberg's house, she had lots of cake. I'm a terrible host, might run out and buy some cake. But really looking forward to seeing Emma. And then I'm gonna be getting ready because tonight I'm going to the Cosmo Blog Awards, which I think now is called the Cosmo Influencer Awards, but I will chat more about that later. Really exciting, but that's basically why I am makeup free. My hair is half tied up. I feel like I need to point that out because last time I had my hair like this, everyone thought my hair had like massively thinned out. It's just tied up. And today's video is sponsored by Braun. You guys know I'm a massive Braun fangirl. I've done a few videos with them before and I've got a few more lined up for this year. So I'm really excited to be partnering with them. I'm gonna be chatting to you about a couple of their products and talking to you about why I love them and how I use them. So I'll probably start off doing that this morning. I'm gonna put on some like minimal makeup because Emma wants to take a photo with me and then I'll probably just like top it up, amp it up and make it appropriate for tonight. I'm gonna to be wearing a dress tonight, so I need to get my legs in shape. They are, they, they haven't seen daylight for a while, so definitely need to sort them out. Okay, so let me start by talking through a couple of the products that I'm gonna be using today. Let's move over to the bed. Okay, you guys know by now that I am a massive fan of epilating. It's really completely changed my whole hair removal process. I mainly use it on my legs and on my arms, and I love it nearly swore there. So this is the Braun Silk Epple 9 Skin Spa with the Senso Smart technology. So this is what the box looks like. I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. I've just ripped this off. This epilator is amazing because you can basically do four at-home treatments in one device. It also comes with this adapter head so you can either use it as an epilator or if you put this on and then use one of these brushes you can also use it as an exfoliating brush. I love epilating because it's so fast and so precise and it can give you up to four weeks of smooth skin which is amazing it's it's changed my routine in terms of time I don't have to go anywhere I'd have to go to a salon or I don't have to be removing my hair every day it just lasts so well on me so if the Sun suddenly comes out and I want to wear a skirt I know my legs will pretty much be in good shape I also think epilating allows you to get even the shortest of hairs and because of the new like Senso smart technology it allows you to epilate at the optimal pressure so you won't push too hard and damage the skin and I know people are worried about the pain of epilating but seriously it is not that bad at all like the first time you do it it's always a bit weird because you don't know what it's going to feel like but I wouldn't do it all the time if it was that painful I'm going to show you guys afterwards I'm going to like demonstrate for you and you'll see it's really not that bad actually let's go to the bathroom now and I'll quickly show you guys how I do my legs and then we'll come back and chat about the other products which I've recently been trialing and really enjoying excuse my little lobster shorts but gotta have the legs out for this Okay, this is how I usually epilate my legs. If I'm not doing it in the shower, I will rest my phone here so I can watch a YouTube video. And then I prop my leg up across the bath. This is definitely the most flattering angle I've ever put on YouTube. And then I'm just gonna go for it. It's so easy. I just always go in the opposite direction of the hair. So sometimes that means like going a little bit sideways. And it's so easy. My top tip in terms of pain would be to just keep it up. Don't let the hairs get too long. That's how I find the best way to do it is. Okay, so because Braun know how much I love my epilator, they also recently sent me their IPL hair removal system. This is basically what it looks like. It's the Braun Silk Expert 5 IPL hair removal system. I've already got it open because I have been using it for quite a few weeks now. This is what it looks like. And before this, I had never used an at-home IPL system before. So I was very excited. It looks very snazzy indeed. So when I got this, I thought I'm gonna try this on my underarms because that is somewhere where my hair grows back faster than anywhere else. And I have to like work really hard to maintain hair-free underarms. So I was like, if this works, then that will changed my life. I've basically been using it once a week and I think it's been about four weeks now. It's really easy. I just shave the area, make sure there is no hair there, pat it dry, and then I just simply use this 
on the area. I was really surprised at how much this does not hurt at all. I found it really, really easy to use, especially on a small area like my underarms. So basically how it works for those of you who are interested, it has this thing called Senso Adapt technology, which basically gives out these little pulses of light. It does apparently 80 per second and it continually adapts and reads to your skin tones so that it's completely safe. It's got two modes, press and release, which is the one that I used for my underarms, or it's got gliding mode, which is especially good for kind of bigger areas like your legs because it will just continually go whilst you kind of glide it up your leg and it's really easy to use. They've also got a gentle mode which is really good for more sensitive areas or if it's your first time using it and you want to just start with something slow. I haven't yet tried it on my legs but apparently it takes just eight minutes and it can give you visible permanent hair removal in up to 12 weeks which is amazing. You just have to remember to keep it up and actually do it every week for that course and if you feel like you can't do that and you can't keep on top of things then there is a Braun app which will help you with that so I will put the details for the app in the description box down below along with everything else that I've discussed, the epilator, the IPL machine. I'm really loving using this. As I said, it's been quite a few weeks now. I can definitely see amazing results. So I will continue to use this and update you guys on how I'm getting on. I'm now going to do my makeup. As I said, I'm gonna do really minimal makeup so that I look decent enough for the podcast, but so that I can add more on later before I go out. Are you ready for the speediest minimal makeup look? Three, two, one. Primer, foundation, concealer, bronzer, blusher, eyebrows, touch of cream eyeshadow, tiny bit of brown eyeliner, a bit of natural mascara. Hair down and that makeup should be really easy to add to later on when I want to make it more like evening appropriate. Okay, I've changed into something a little bit more appropriate that isn't lobster pajamas. And I think I'm gonna go to my local cafe and get myself some lunch, like a bagel, so that I'm not like hangry during the podcast and you won't hear my stomach rumble. And then maybe get some like cake and stuff. Okay, I got some cake. I've got two slices of lemon drizzle and, sorry, I don't want you to see my boobs, two like raspberry tarts that look delicious. And I got myself a salmon and avocado, no, a salmon and cream cheese bagel. And I got one for Emma just in case because she's coming at lunchtime and I know that kind of anxiety around doing something around lunchtime and not knowing where you can fit in eating lunch. So just in case she turns up starving, I got her a salmon and cream cheese bagel as well. This is the lemon drizzle cake. This is the raspberry tart. This looks really good. So I'm just waiting for Emma to arrive and I'm looking forward to it. It's been a little while since I did all the press for the book. So I think she's gonna be asking me about the book. It'd be nice to chat about that a bit more. Also, if you guys missed it on my Instagram stories, I um, I thought now it's been a while, most of you guys who wouldn't have wanted it spoiled have probably read the book. I kind of chatted through the book a little bit further. So I've added that to one of the highlights on my Instagram under the F word if you want to go have a watch. I've put out some flowers. My friend Hannah for my 30th got me a six month subscription to a flower company. So they just keep on coming. It's such a nice surprise every time. I've got a candle and my book. And I think this is where we'll sit and do the podcast. Emma's here now. Hi. She's brought all her fancy equipment and um, I'm gonna tuck into the cake and we're gonna chat. And I said I will share, um, when's this going up? So if this video is going up, I think it will be live actually, so I'll put the link of the podcast down below, if not I'll tweet it. Emma's just gone and I forgot to kind of vlog, I was going to do a time lapse but I completely forgot, sorry. Um, that was so good, I really enjoyed that, I was quite nervous actually. I'm always a bit nervous when it's like an interview but I shouldn't have been because she's so lovely and we could have chatted for hours, I think it's going to be at least an hour long. So if you want to go have a listen, definitely do because we spoke about lots of different topics and maybe stuff that I haven't spoken about on here. I really enjoyed it. We spoke a lot about the blogging industry and how it's changed and things like that. I feel very tired. This happens when Anna and I do the podcast. Also when I was doing like interviews and press for the book this kept happening. I think when you just talk a lot it's quite like emotionally tiring. I know that sounds crazy but I need to just take a minute because otherwise I won't have the energy to go out tonight. I've sorted through my inbox, so that is good. Um, I think I'm gonna take an Instagram photo because I haven't really got one to post today and I'm really enjoying Instagram at the moment, so I don't wanna let it slip. Whew, sorry. I'm gonna take a little flat lay photo. was a prime example of when you try and force yourself to take a photo and it doesn't really work. 
I felt quite like inspired by doing a pink themed photo and so I kind of got everything together and tried to do a flat lay and it wasn't really working I'm feeling like a little bit impatient um I tried to take it for quite a while went through some photos edited them and then when I just sat down here and kind of looked at everything from this angle I realized it would make a much better photo from here so I just took one and that's turned out to be the best photo so I think that's a very good photography lesson right there okay it is 5 30 I've got an hour so I'm going to start getting ready and my makeup is looking okay um my eye area is still so dry I have this constant wrinkle here from my eczema which isn't great um i also need to put some lip balm on <laughs> so tonight is the cosmopolitan blog awards or the cosmopolitan influencer awards which i wish they weren't called that and the reason i am particularly excited to be nominated for influencer of the year i mean these sort of awards things it's always very nice to get acknowledged it's fun to get like an actual award if you win but you know it's not really what we live for i think we've had to learn with our jobs to give ourselves like a pat on the back um, rather than kind of expect people to acknowledge us and give us awards so it's not really for that reason but the cosmopolitan blog awards started in 2012 which is when i started blogging full time i'm just gonna kind of like top up my makeup whilst i'm chatting to you guys so they've kind of like been on this whole journey with me but i have never been nominated or invited um i remember anna and like millie and the girls used to always go and i was like so jealous it looked like so much fun <laughs> and I've just never been and this year I'm nominated for Influencer of the Year which is really cool and crazy. Um, there's some amazing other people nominated, Anna is nominated so obviously I'm actually rooting for Anna because that would be amazing if she won. She can't come tonight so I'm kind of hoping she does win so I can be like woo Anna for her. But whoever wins I just thought it would be a really fun night out, it's like a proper sit down dinner. Um, and I'm taking my sister as my plus one because I thought Rich might find that kind of thing boring. And I think she'll love it. She loves like glitz and glam. So we're getting dressed up. We're going to go. It's going to be a fun night. Kind of irrelevant of whoever wins what. So it feels very nostalgic, even though they've changed it to influencer awards. <laughs> it's funny because on Emma's podcast just now, I spoke a lot about why I don't like the word influencer. And she really liked the word content creator, online content creator, so she's like, I'm gonna go with it. I'm like, yeah, let's make this a thing. I'm just bronzing up my face. I think I might do a little bit of contouring. Why not? I only really contour if I'm going out in the evening and I just put it right under my cheekbones. I think I'm gonna wear my Alice and Olivia dress, which is the one I bought for my friend Hannah's wedding. And I wore it in New York as well. I don't really like buying new outfits every time I have an event. Um, it just seems silly because I don't wear like smart clothes that often. It seems a bit wasteful really. So I just kind of wear the same thing every time I have a smart event, which I'm totally okay with because I think that's what normal people do. They re-wear clothes. It's only on the internet do people have like a new outfit every day. So I love that dress and it's like a silk kind of dress, I think. The only problem is I never have any nice shoes. So I always ruin my nice outfits by not having any nice shoes to kind of compliment them. I just feel so awkward in heels. I just feel so on me. I've never found like a cool pair of heels that feel like me. I'm gonna put on some highlighter. Okay, I am going to put on some warm brown eyeshadow. I'm gonna take my brown eyeliner and go quite heavy above my eyelashes and underneath as well. And this will just make it look a bit more evening look compared to what I normally wear. So I'm just gonna like line it and then smudge it out with a brush. It's time for hair. I'm gonna do my usual thing because I can't really do anything fancy with my hair. Um, I'm just gonna put it in sections and then just using my straighteners, I'm gonna add in some waves. So I think I will put you guys on a time lapse because otherwise this will take a while. But you've seen me do this before. Sorry, I had to take a bit of a pause from vlogging because I had to charge my camera battery because it was running a bit low. Um, but I've basically got dressed now. This dress is my Alice and Olivia dress. I love it for so many reasons. You can be as bloated as you want in it. It's made out of beautiful materials. So it's very comfortable. It looks beautiful. I love the kind of length of it. I like that you can wear any old black knickers and you can't see. Basically all like comfort 
related reasons, I decided not to tan my legs because I was going to and then I thought the rest of my body is pale, it would look weird, why do we all have to be tanned all the time, it's okay to be pale sometimes, so I've just left them as they are, but obviously there is no hair on there anymore, so that's good. <laughs> I'm going to wear my Chanel bag, um, I'm wearing boots because I feel most comfortable in boots, it definitely changes the look, it makes it a bit more like rock chick look, is that still a thing, which I'm up for. I. I feel weird in like strappy heels. I don't feel like I can be myself and I like to feel confident. So I'm wearing black boots. I think it goes okay. And I'm also wearing my new earrings, which are from Whistles, which you would have seen in my haul video. So that is my outfit for the evening. Pretty hungry, but apparently it's a sit down dinner. So that's good. Before I go out, I'm actually gonna put some coconut oil on my tattoo. That is what G, my um, tattoo, artist recommend putting on. But she said the um, ingredients to the tattoo cream that one used to use as chains so she's like coconut oil will do and it's something everyone has in their cupboard so it's been a little bit itchy and because it's kind of rubbing on my dress i just feel like that would be the sensible thing to do so i normally just like warm up a little bit in between my hands and then just put on a really thin layer obviously make sure my hands are clean i kind of warm it up in my hands <laughs> which is really funny because depending on the time of day sometimes it turns into an oil straight away and then other times it goes a bit pasty but i normally just have to let my kind of body heat warm up a bit yeah when I put it on my arms it normally turns into an oil a little bit on my tattoo try not to get it all over my dress this is what the tattoo is looking like as it's healing it's getting a little bit darker and it's starting to scab I'm excited for it to heal I hate that itchy tattoo feeling I'm just at Jojo's picking her up we're gonna get an uber she's wearing my needle and thread dress as long as I don't lift my arms yeah <laughs> we're on our way Jojo is taking so many selfies because it's a rare occasion that she's going out. <laughs> she's like, proof, I need proof. I always try really hard not to be early to things. It's not cool. I was I wanted to get here at 7.45, which is like somewhere between 7.30 and 8 when it's like the reception, but it's 7.20 and we're like there in a minute. So we're actually here before it's even started. Very uncool. I stupidly didn't wear a coat and it's quite cold and I didn't realise how far we have to walk. The bit where You're the cars drop you off. Over. Yeah. Move it's over the pathway over there. This is what vlogging's all about. We've made friends along the way. We don't, none of us know where we're going. Oh, was it really at the end? How are you feeling right now? Cold. <laughs> really? Yes. Yes to the moaning. Don't like the Uber man anymore? <laughs> he had a phone charger. I liked him for a minute. Oh, we're here, we're here. Ah, oh, look how pretty it is in here. Looks gorgeous. Where's here? I actually know people. Like, I wouldn't know anyone unless I was using flowers. They are amazing. Is I want this at my wedding. Yeah, you need to. Not that, I mean, it's gone. It's gone. Next, next one. We're both married already. The next, yeah, next husband. Bye. We're going into the main room, following the lovely Liv in her ridiculously gorgeous outfit. She doesn't even know I'm vlogging her right now. Guys, look, this is like the most epic wedding ever. Oh my god! Now I need to find table 18. Yeah, I found my place. Very pretty. So many flowers going on here. Jojo and I opted for the vegetarian option because we knew it would be fish. I'm probably a hungrier person than Liv. Well, I, I don't know. It's nice. It's like barley. I feel like I could have more. We've also received more votes than our entire previous three awards combined. Ooh, with over 17,500 votes alone on our best newcomer category. The winner of the Gold Standard Influencer of the Year Award goes to Freddie Howe. <laughs> Jojo wants to go into the glitter pen. Oh my god, it literally has steps down into it like it's a swimming pool. <laughs> Just waiting for our Uber outside. This amazing display. It's literally been so beautiful tonight. It's been so nice, like catching up with those people. Like Emma Gannon's here, Liv Purvis, Fleur, Luce, Bonjour Luce, I still call her. Um, who else have I seen? Hannah Witten, like loads of really cool people. Um, and lots of amazing women won awards as well. Freddie won in my category and I just love Freddie. I'm obsessed with her Instagram, so definitely well-deserved winner. And it's been a fun evening, but we're tired. I'm gonna head home. Um, jo just gotta look after children tomorrow and I've gotta work, so yeah. I'm home, I have my cup of tea. I'm very happy about it. It's like quarter to 12. I definitely shouldn't be having tea. I mean, it is decaf, but me and my sister were just saying how I can't really like unwind. I can't just like come home and go straight to bed. I need my cup of tea. If I miss my 
evening cup of tea, everything just feels wrong. This light is very bright in my face. Anyway, I'm gonna go take my makeup off, tie my hair up, get into my PJs, and I'm very excited to go to bed. But I had a really fun evening. It was a super fancy event, more fancy than I thought it would be. Um, it was so nice to catch up with everyone though. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please leave me a comment if you did. Love reading them. And I'll see you guys on Sunday for my next video. Bye.